I just received a very cool question. Hey Chris, can I ask about how you set up your studio to capture the monitor video audio of these tutorials? I'm gonna take the time to answer that question and I'm gonna show you how I record my tutorial videos for YouTube. Alright, so first, before we start, if you're new here on the channel, subscribe and click that notification bell. And again, you guys share and like. Alright, so let's start up now. Let me show you a bit of my setup here. Alright, so this is the way my setup looks like. I have two lights to light me up. And if we look here, we have my little Tascam on top of the uh, URRT4. So this is a very nice device. It has four tracks uh, and I use it to record the audio coming out of Cubase and also my microphone. So I have uh, on channel one and two, the signal coming out of Cubase from uh, my interface. And also on the third one, I have the microphone. Now, as far as the microphone goes, I have the Jay-Z uh, BH2 that I uh, just got not too long ago. That sounds pretty good on my voice. I'm gonna do a review video on this microphone in the near future. And I also use uh, the uh, Delphos from Roswell Pro Audio, which is a very good microphone as well. And again, like I was saying, this microphone is uh, going into the Tascam recording device. Now, as far as the camera goes, I use a Lumix a GH5 from Panasonic, which is a great camera. And uh, everything is uh, controlled directly from my phone. Uh, as a um, Wi-Fi remote control. So it's very, very useful, very cool camera. And this is how I uh, film myself when uh, doing some video tutorials. The camera is set up right at the left side of my main monitor. Now, when it comes to time to capture what's coming off my computer, I use OBS, which is a free open source software. So let's take a look. Uh, so this is what it looks like when I open OBS. It will capture everything coming off my computer. Um, now, uh, I have some audio um, that is coming from my webcam. My webcam is plugged into my computer and I use it to uh, actually to just to record the audio. Um, to, to be able to sync that up with my uh, my uh, audio coming out of the Tascam recorder once I'm into Adobe Premiere, which I use for video editing. So by recording the uh, the feed off the webcam in OBS, it's going to just help me to sync the video, the screen capture video with my, uh, my audio from the Tascam, which is very handy. And of course, the video coming off the camera as well, because I also record the audio. So all the audio I record from those devices, the camera and the webcam, are used only for sync purposes. So um, let's check this out. Okay, now I'm all I'm actually recording, and uh, once this is started, I just open Cubase, and uh, there you go. Uh, everything is captured and saved on my computer once I'm done recording with OBS. Now OBS is a cool software. Very, it's not super easy to use, but once you get a hold of it. Uh, you can do a lot and it's um, it's easy to get to get around afterwards but you just need to take the time to learn the software the good thing it's free there's some paid alternative out there that can cost uh, quite a lot and some some cheaper uh, alternatives as well but this one is kind of complete for uh, for free uh, for free software it's quite amazing so check it out if you want to do some screen capturing you can use OBS and you can also live stream with OBS which is another issue but this is also what I use when I do some YouTube live sessions uh, which I didn't do for quite a while anyways um, let's go back in Cubase and uh, let me show you how I set this up as far as the audio goes. Um, it's very simple. I don't route anything from Cubase. I just use my main output. And then what I do, I just route everything from my Lynx mixer. I use output five and six of my Lynx interface. So in the mixer, I just select five and six and I unmute uh, output one and two that is used for uh, for the, the main output of Cubase. Okay, so if I just uh, play some music on, you see some signal coming out uh, of play one and two, which is the uh, Cubase output one and two. And this is also sent to my uh, Tascam machine. Okay, so that's simple. Now, the good thing about this is everything is independent. 
I don't need to rely on a uh, on setting up another output of Cubase and or a QMix. That can also work very well. I just route everything through the Lynx mixer and that's it. And everything is recorded into a separate device uh, which uh, keeps everything independent from each other, which gives me more control when it's time to do my video editing. Once this is done, I stop recording with OBS and then I just uh, transfer the file, copy the file to a specific folder on my video work hard drive. And uh, I also copied what's coming out the task cam as well. So there's an SD card in there. I just, I just pop that into my computer, transfer the files into that specific folder. And same for my camera, transfer all the files on the same folder. And then I uh, work that folder in Adobe Premiere. And this is what, uh, what Premiere looks like. Now, Premiere is amazing. I love working with Premiere. I used to be with Final Cut Pro when I had a Mac, uh, but since I uh, got off Mac, I just uh, transferred everything into Adobe Premiere and I'm hooked, okay? I just love the software. Now, what I do every month, I create myself a new session in Premiere, and um, this is where I edit all of the videos for this specific month. And all the videos that I produce are in their specific folder that I create on the uh, Premiere session. So this way, everything is just well organized. And then I just edit my video and that's simple. So it is pretty cool, very simple to use, you know, as, as far as you take the time to learn the stuff. Uh, but this is the way I do my recordings as far as video tutorial goes for YouTube. So there you go guys, this is it for today. Now I know this video was a bit different than what I usually do, but if you enjoyed the video, click on the like button and please share this video. And if you're new here on the channel, feel free to subscribe and to click that notification bell. All right guys, I'm gonna see you next time, ciao.